sorry children the video got stopped on its own so we'll continue with the story and here the stranger who claims to be the greatest poet in the world is telling the little boy that he is as good a poet as him and when b words were left i prayed i would see him again who is this i the little boy about a week later coming back from school one afternoon i met him at the corner of miguel street he said i have been waiting for you for a long time so it this meeting was not by chance the stranger had been or the greatest poet in the world had been waiting for the little boy i said you sell any poetry yet so the first question the little boy asks what's worth is that has he been able to sell, uh, sell any of his poetry he shook his head that means in the negative that he was not able to send anything he said in my yard i have the best mango tree in port of spain and now the mangoes are ripe and red and very sweet and juicy i have waited here for you to tell you this and to invite you to come and eat some of my mangoes so he was he the stranger or uh, b wordsworth has taken a liking to this little boy and he has come to invite him to taste the uh, mangoes from his tree in the yard he lived in alberto street so the little boy he lived in miguel street whereas the stranger b wordsworth lived in alberto street in a one roomed hut placed right in the center of the lot so the place where this uh, wordsworth lived was a small hut it it had just one room and it was right in the center of the yard the yard seemed all green why will a place look all green because it was overrun by vegetation all kinds of trees and bushes and hedges grew over there there was the big mango tree there was a coconut tree and there was a plum tree the place looked wild as though it wasn't in the city at all you couldn't see all the big concrete houses in the street so there is little hut this one roomed hut was surrounded by trees on all its sides and once when somebody was there in the center of the yard they couldn't see any concrete buildings around the lot he was right about what he was right the mangoes were sweet and juicy i ate about six and the yellow mango juice ran down my arms to my elbows and down my mouth to my chin and my shirt was stained so the little boy really enjoyed himself a lot and the mango juice was running all over him he had made a mess out of his clothes while eating the enjoying the mangoes my mother said when i got home where you was you need to say where were you you think you is a man now and could go all over the place go kata whip for me so where you was children where were you you think you is so with you you always use plural so it will be are now you could go all over the place all over the place that he being such a little boy he without taking permission from his mother he had gone along with b words were to eat few mangoes go cut a whip for me cut a whip for me a stem for uh, maybe a small stick with which the mother can beat up the child so please all those who have not been slapped by your parents or uh, then please do not be surprised because i can talk about myself when we were children so if the parents slapped us for something or the other it was never taken as something that the parents did not love us or they did not care for us that they have slapped us and we should be angry with our parents nothing of the sort it was just the way of disciplining children nowadays things have changed nobody can raise their hands to the children so fine that was the i mean being beaten was nothing new for people in our generation that was the way things were during those times now things have changed she beat me rather badly and i ran out of the house swearing that i would never come back so now after the beating the little boy he is very angry with his mother as he got a see 
the mother did not beat him because the reason why she must have beaten him that he had left the house without informing her or without taking permission from her which was really bad because anything untoward can also happen to children when they go around the area or the city so bad things may happen so they need to be parents need to be careful i went to b wordsworth house i was so angry my nose was bleeding so he was angry also he has he had got a beaten all beating also so still even after getting that beating he went where back to wordsworth house b wordsworth said stop crying and we will go for a walk i stopped crying but i was breathing short why breathing short because he was out of breath because of anger and pain we went for a walk we walked down to st clair avenue to the savanna and we walked to the race course b wordsworth said now let us lie on the grass and look up at the sky and i want you to think how far those stars are from us so here we see that wordsworth is telling or teaching the boy or training him how to feel how to enjoy the beauty of the nature he is training him to become a poet maybe not the greatest one but then to feel to have emotions for things now children with this i will end today's class and we will finish the rest of the story in the next video so this particular video uh class has two videos to it i'm sorry children the somehow the earlier video got stopped and i had to continue with another video so please read the story learn the difficult spellings of difficult words by heart and the meanings also of the difficult words till next class stay safe and stay blessed thank you